So today I have huge exciting news to share with you and then I also have some news that we're kind of neutral on I guess you could say. Uh, it all revolves around our adoption of our little girl um, Lily Grace. So if you want to know more about it stick around. Hey guys welcome back to today's vlog. I'm excited to have you here. Um, today's vlog is going to be a little bit shorter than our normal vlogs, but anyways, I have very exciting news to share with y'all in regards to the fundraiser that we have had going for about the past month um, in order to raise money for Eagle's Wings. If you are new here, I will very, very briefly tell you who Eagle's Wings and why they're so near and dear to our heart and why we had a huge calling on helping them out financially. Uh, but I'm also going to leave a tag here that will give you more information about it. Uh, it's a previous video that we have done, um, like I said, about a month ago. So Eagle's Wings is a nonprofit organization there in China that um, has a foster care facility where they take in a lot of special needs and disabled kids and they bring them into their foster care facility and really just try to create a very um, home-like environment, very loving, very nurturing. They also have a school that is in the same building but it is downstairs and so they pour into a lot of the kids. Um, within this building, it's about 10 stories high. And so on one of the floors is the um, government-ran orphanage. And um, our little girl has spent the in her entire life, she just turned four, she has spent her entire life in that orphanage. Uh, but Eagle's Wings has poured into her, uh, and as of last December, they were granted permission to bring our little girl up into their foster care facility permanently until we come and get her. And we were so, so thrilled to hear that. Um, and she was thriving. She was doing so wonderfully in their uh, care. Uh, she was walking and she was smiling and happy and just really came to life. Uh, that lasted for about six to seven months and a couple months ago, uh, for whatever reason, um, she was her our little girl and four others were taken from Eagle's Wings and put into another facility of which we don't know where, when, or why, or for how long. And I'm going to get to more on that in just a few minutes, uh, but hang with me real quick. Just like so many across uh, the world, the pandemic has greatly affected them financially. And so Stan and I felt very strongly that we needed to help uh, ease some of that financial burden. After much thought and prayer, um, put into choosing to raise money for this organization. We decided just to create a GoFundMe page and reach out to our friends here on YouTube and over on Facebook and Instagram and just tell them the story of Eagle's Wings and how they came about and all the good things that they are doing for these orphans and how they're in the trenches taking care of them day to day. Um, and we really wanted to help raise a huge amount of money to help relieve some of the financial strain that they have. It takes roughly 20,000 US dollars to um, run Eagle's Wings month to month and that money is going towards the caregivers wages and things like that. And so in my heart of hearts I really really wanted to raise $20,000 um, because that would be a full month of cushion that they could have in case they need it. Uh, we don't want them having to lay off any of their amazing employees or anything like that because they don't have the funds to pay them. So, um, after talking with Stan and kind of thinking it over, you know, $20,000 is a huge, huge goal, right? So um, we decided, honestly, to set it at 10000 and if we could reach 10000 that would be amazing, and anything over that was just a bonus. And so, like I said, we created the GoFundMe page, and within three weeks, with the generosity of all of you here and over on Facebook and Instagram, uh, $10,000 was raised very quickly. So we were so very thrilled over that. Stan kept asking me if I was ready to kind of close out the fundraiser um, and send the money to Eagle's Wings. And I just had this huge hesitation in my spirit and just kind of 
hopeful that maybe something would come through huge and we could reach that $20,000 goal that I really had kind of set in my heart. Um, and so I just kind of held out. Um, it's funny how you kind of like your spirit knows that something's going on, but you don't know that something's going on, if that makes any sense. Clearly something was going on and I'm glad that I kind of held out and listened to what my gut was telling me because let me tell you this amazing story. Um, someone who watches our YouTube channel and follows us on social media reached out to me and um, she, I'm gonna, her name is Amy. None of y'all will ever be able to find out who she is. So I think it's okay that I at least just say her first name. So Amy messaged me and I, I again, a complete stranger to me, but she uh, sent me a very long message stating that the Holy Spirit um, was really like just weighing heavy on her and that she needed to do something big in order to help us kind of reach our goal in this fundraiser for Eagle's Wings. Um, the message said a whole lot more than that, but essentially that's where she was coming from. So what she offered uh, in that first message was that her late husband had passed away and he had a Harley Davidson motorcycle just sitting in the garage uh, that was his. And of course, since he has passed, um, she really doesn't have any use for it. She said it's in pristine condition, had like 300 miles on it, and she felt like she was supposed to essentially donate that motorcycle to us um, in hopes that we can maybe have an auction, an auction off the motorcycle, and then we could receive all of the funds from that auction and donate it completely to Eagle's Wings. She said that the motorcycle appraised for about $15,000. <laughs> so that's a huge chunk of money if we could pull off an auction of a motorcycle that's, you know, across the United States and like all of those things. Uh, it was such a generous offer. Um, I was just floored that a complete stranger um, messaged me and, and wanted to donate and to play a part in this in such a huge financial way. Uh, but I told her, you know, let me, let Stan and I think about it. Um, because again, pulling off an auction for a motorcycle was something obviously we have never done, right? And there's a lot of factors uh, going into that. So we kind of thought about it for three or four days and then I received another message from Amy and she was essentially like, Ashley, please forgive me. Let's just forget about the motorcycle for right now. She's like, the Holy Spirit will not let me sleep. She's like, I just feel like I have to do something and that I'm supposed to do something to help y'all. And so she said, I'm just going to write you a check for $10,000 so that you can reach your $20,000 goal to send to Eagle's Wings. <laughs> I was like, what? I, I, what? You know, it's just... Uh, just blew my mind uh, her generosity and just her willingness to be in tune with listening uh, to how the Lord was leading her it's just so humbling to see and to hear um, a complete stranger you know wanting to not even just wanting to donate to this organization that is so near and dear to our heart but that she was so in tune with how the Lord was leading her. And she was like, I can't rest until I, I walk in obedience and I, and I do what's needed to be done. Um, so I just pray the Lord blesses her. I pray the Lord blesses each of you that donated to this huge fundraiser. Because without you, we wouldn't have reached our goal. Every $5, $10, $25 donation matters just as much as this $10,000 donation. Um, so I want you to hear that from me very, very loud and clear. Um, I wanted to share this story with you um, because I wanted you to see that the Lord will provide. <laughs> and if the Lord is nudging you to do something, even when you don't really see how in the world it could ever happen, He will provide. And he will not go back on his promises. And I'm just in awe that we reached the $20,000 goal amount. It just blows my mind.
So anyways, um, we just received the check from this dear, precious, sweet soul. Uh, and that's not even the whole story, y'all. And I wish I could share more of this story and more of this blessing. Uh, but right now, I cannot. But just know that, like, my goodness, the Lord is working. Uh, even when we don't really see that He needs to be working, but He's working. And um, just to sit on the sidelines and to be a part of it and just to be... <laughs> like looking to see how he provides in ways that your mind cannot even fathom is still mind blowing and i don't really know why it still is he has provided for three of our adoptions um every penny has been for provided for our adoptions and so i know he is very willing and able and i know that he will always uh, provide abundantly and far more than you could ever imagine but I'm still like, wow, God, you came through. I've just, you know, blows my mind. So today I have the honor of sitting down and donating $20,000 to this amazing nonprofit faith-based organization that is in the trenches taking care of these orphans day to day. A huge thank you goes to each of you who donated, each of you who maybe, maybe you couldn't donate financially, but you, you have been praying. Um, so thank you so very much to each and every single person um, that has played a part in this. I just, I don't ever think that you will understand the gravity that um, this has had not only on our family, um, but also in my faith. And obviously in the day-to-day -day, um, situation that Eagle's Wings faces financially. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So let me end with one more thing. I told you uh, that the news was kind of like it was good, but it was like, meh, eh, left us a little icky, I guess you could say. Y'all know, like I said earlier, our little girl was taken from Eagle's Wings and no one, no one knows where she is. Our agency did request an update on our little girl to see if maybe we could get information that way. And um, after about a month, they did reply. And I'm so thankful that they did because with the pandemic, there are a lot of families who, not, who have not received not one update on their child since January 2020. So the fact that we actually did receive an update on our Lily Grace was a huge blessing and I'm very, very thankful for that. Um, they did not answer any questions as to her whereabouts or why she was moved or for how long or anything of that nature. They just strictly sent two pictures and one short video of our little girl. And as you can see in the pictures, um, she looks very sad. Um, that smile that Eagle's Wings brought to her face and to her spirit, I feel, is gone again. And um, it just breaks our heart to see the sadness over her face again. Um, as petty as it may sound, it breaks our hearts to see her head shaved again. I do understand that a lot of these facilities do it because it will control lice and it does uh, just help with ease up the day-to-day -day care of all of these kids. That way they're not having to wash and brush their hair and like all of those things. I get it. Um, but it's just so sad because a lot of these kids, they just have no identity. Um, so you shave their heads. Um, they all share clothes. Boys and girls, they share clothes. So you look at these kids and a lot of times you cannot tell if it's a sweet little boy or a sweet little girl. Just no identity at all. And I think that that's why it breaks our heart when we see her head shaved and see any of these kids that way. Uh, while I understand day to day, this does probably make it easier on the caretakers. But like, you know, emotionally, like, what is this doing to the kids? Um, just to not, again, not having any identity, not having anything that sets them apart from everyone else, whether it's their clothing or their hairstyle or um, any belongings or, like, anything like that. I don't know if that makes any sense. But regardless, we did get to see pictures of her, and we are trying to find out where she is at. Um, it looks like she's at some type of facility rehab, probably some type of therapy facility. Um, 
But anyways, I wanted to share that with you all. And I know so many have asked if we've gotten any news about her, but you can tell there's always hesitation in them asking because they don't want to make us upset. And we absolutely do not get upset and you're not triggering anything within us by leaving a comment saying, hey, have you heard where your little girl is or anything like that. Uh, we, we really do love to see that so many of you are invested into our family and into this adoption process. And uh, we know that you are just asking out of genuine curiosity and love and care for not only this little girl, but for us. So feel free to ask anytime, uh, anything that you want. So that's it for today's vlog, y'all. I told you it would be pretty short. Um, share those things with y'all so that you would know like what an amazing God we have and what an amazing provider he is. And, um, it's just such a blessing. I hope that this blesses you as much as it has blessed our family. I hope this increases your faith as much as it has increased our faith. Um, thank you all so much for all the love, support, for all the questions, for all the comments. All of it means so much. Um, we will see y'all next time. Bye.